Good morning, everyone. If I sound stuffed up, I am. I have a major cold. <laughs> I'm, I'm suffering. It was so miserable at work yesterday. Oh, my God. My head was pounding, and my nose was running, and every time I breathed in the cold air, I was coughing, and... Um, I went home a little bit early. Uh, we closed at 11, and I went home at 10:30. Um, I just could, I couldn't make it any further. And I'm working again tonight, and I'm kind of debating whether or not I'm going to go in tonight. Um, right now, though, I am on my way to pick up an application at a variety store here in town, and apparently they're looking for for somebody and with luck they will be able to accommodate the hours that I want to work um, so I basically have Monday and Tuesday afternoon Thursday morning Friday Saturday and Sunday now, because this variety store closes at 8, it's perfect. And, um, yeah, I'm hoping to get a couple hours in anyway. What is this guy doing? Some drivers, I tell you. Anyway, you see my mess in the back there. Oh, oh that brown paper bag. I have to show you once I stop driving. I was in the Value Village just killing time basically and it's a secondhand store and I found this ceramic bowl that I fell in love with and it was it was eight bucks. It was a little bit pricey for Value Village but everything is going up so uh, it's really really pretty though. I'm going to hopefully drill a hole in the middle on the bottom and it is going to become my bathroom sink. Now my bathroom is going to be very, very tiny and I'm just going to set it up with like a singular pump um, out of like a five gallon water tank or something just for washing your fingers, brushing teeth, stuff like that. And I'll just have it drained. Actually, the plan is to have it drain into the toilet, which uh, is going to be a composting toilet. But I'm going to have the sink drain into the urinal part and hopefully make it swirl around so it rinses. So you use the facilities and then wash your hands and the excess water from washing your hands rinses the um, urine diverter. So if I could set that up, that would be perfect. Um, yeah, <laughs> but it's the prettiest little bowl. It's only about maybe this big. It's just enough just to sort of wash your hands, brush your teeth. A bathroom sink, uh, especially on a bus, it doesn't need to be huge because you're not washing dishes, you're not washing clothes, you're not washing your hair, you're not doing anything like that. You just want to wash your hands and brush your teeth wash your face. It's not going to have hot water plumbing or anything like that. I think I'm just going to get one of those little USB pumps that you um, drop into a pail, like uh, a submersible pump. They're inexpensive. I just have a, a tank at the bottom and just fill that up when necessary. So it's not going to need major plumbing or anything like that. The major plumbing that I'm going to be doing in the bathroom would be for the shower. And then that's going to run to the kitchen sink. Maybe. I haven't decided. Oh, pardon me for barking. <laughs> I haven't decided yet if I'm even going to bother putting the sink on a hot water. Because I figure if I'm doing any cooking before I shut the stove off, um, I'll just heat up some water in a kettle. So keeping it as simple, simple as possible. I do want hot water for a shower though. Um, 
the other thing that I was thinking about is if I do plumb in hot water for the kitchen sink, then instead of washing my hair in the shower, I would use the kitchen sink for washing my hair because I'm setting up a recirculating shower, which is gonna be a little bit more complex, but it's what I want. I wanna be able to take an hour long shower if I want. Not that I take hour long showers, but it conserves on water and it just makes so much sense to use up some of the space for something that is very usable. So as I said, I'm on my way to pick up an application to work as a cashier part-time at a local variety store. I'm not sure what hours they're looking for. I just hope they mesh with what I have to offer. I'm going to keep the pizza delivery job, but I want to, I want to cut those hours down. So I'll have three jobs. promising. I got the application. They want a, um, a resume as well. I didn't get to speak to the manager, but I spoke to one of the other employees and an older lady like myself. She says, you just let her know what your schedule is and they'll work around it. And I thought, well, that's perfect. I just have to decide when I want to work with the pizza delivery because I want, I'm going to keep that job as much as I'm starting to despise it. It's not the job that I'm despising, it's... Despise is quite a strong word. It's, it's not the job, it's the other drivers. They keep making up their own rules without telling anybody and all of a sudden, you know, they're yelling at you for doing something wrong. And it's like, well, how am I supposed to know if you don't tell everybody and you're not my boss anyway. For example, the other night, John and I were up for deliveries. It was, it actually went Matt, John, then me. Well, Matt wasn't in the building. We didn't know where he was. So John said, well, you take this one, I'll take this one. I said, okay, fine. So John took the first order and I took the second order that was sitting there waiting for delivery. I plugged in my deliveries before John did. And as I'm leaving the building with the pizza for delivery, Matt comes in, he goes, oh, jumping the line again, I see. And I said, you weren't there. And he goes, oh, well, I was next in line, you know. And, and then two nights ago when I was in, he goes, he gets into an argument with me and I just stopped talking to him because you're not my boss. He goes, oh, you're always jumping line. You're, you know, everybody says the same thing. And I'm thinking, what do you mean everybody says the same thing? Not everybody says the same thing. You're just, you know, putting words out in the air and breathing heavy. And he's yelling at me really loud when I tried to defend myself. So I thought, you know, with a person like that, there's no sense arguing with them because you won't win. And it doesn't matter anyway because I know he was in the wrong. And he goes, he says to me, he says, oh, you just have to learn to be more observant. Now, I was sitting out in my car and I'm thinking, if you want to deliver pizza, then you need to be in the building when the deliveries come up. And it's as simple as that. If you're not in the building, then you miss your turn. Like, tough luck, buddy. And expecting people to come chasing after you to tell you that, hey, you've got a delivery. So I want to bring this up to management because they are aware that there are some people making up their own rules. Some of these older drivers uh, who have been there for years and years and years are bullying the newer drivers like myself and making up all kinds of rules on the go as it suits them. Anyway, yeah, kind of a mishmash of, of information. So I'm applying for a job. I've got to get my resume printed out. Yeah, I want to show you that sink as soon as I stop here in a second. I'm really excited about this little bowl. I just hope that I don't crack it when I try and drill through it. I might have the hole done by somebody who knows what they're doing. So, bathroom sink. Isn't that pretty? It's just, just enough to put your hands in and wash and there's a nice circle there to follow to cut a hole in it 
and there's a bit of a frame here. I don't know if that's going to make a difference or not, but I'm going to have to see what the piping is for the hole. I might just do the smaller circumference in here and just get a, a hose that fits in there. And the lid, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep the lid as it is, but it's got this really, really nice top that, and this will screw off. So what I'm thinking is taking this part off of this part and putting a, like a plunger on it. So this is my sink stopper if I ever want to you know, fill up the sink or something like that. This fits perfectly in the sink. So the other option is to put a piece of rubber around here. And then I have a cover for the sink. I don't know if I want to do that or not, but it might keep down any smells or odors or anything like that coming from the urinal through the pipe in the bottom. So I thought that was kind of a neat idea. I do kind of like just using this top part though as a stopper and just ditching this whole glass piece. So yeah, that's my, that is gonna be my bathroom sink. I'm tickled to think about it. I, would, I wasn't gonna do my bathroom in blue, but there's quite a bit of yellow and red in there that I might bring out those colors. Decor is the last thing that uh, I have to worry about at this point. I, I gotta get the bus and I gotta build the bus before anything else happens. Anyway, so that's all for now. I hope you have an awesome day and uh, come back and see me later. Thanks for, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.